Alright, so I'm back with another video, and this time I'll be going through 20 things you may have missed in Kingdom Hearts 1. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. If you have played through Agrabah, then you know that the city is empty with nobody in the streets except Sora, Donald, and Goofy. However, if you finish the Agrabah world and stay instead of moving on to the next world and check the streets, you can find there are a couple of NPCs that appear throughout the desert city. When going through the story of Neverland, Sora has to fight a heartless replica of himself. One cool detail about this is that before you fight him, if you look at the ground, Sora does not have a shadow. As no matter the room he's in, the shadow that is supposed to be there is gone. And then upon defeating Anti-Sora, Sora's shadow returns to him. Normally when playing the game, you will probably go to Wonderland after Traverse Town and play through those events and then complete the Deep Jungle World. After Deep Jungle, you'll get a cutscene with the villains meeting and Alice appearing towards the end. However, if you beat Deep Jungle first, before completing Wonderland, Snow White will appear in this cutscene instead. Now this one is pretty obvious, but if you think about it, you play through the events of Neverland, and the world is called Neverland, but you don't actually go to Neverland itself, only the ship and the clock tower that stands above the city. In the beginning when Sora is landing on different pillars in the dive to heart, you see different Disney princesses on each pillar. However, this pink pillar has three princesses that are not visible. These are the three princesses that have yet to be captured, which are Jasmine, Alice, and Kyrie. When on Destiny Islands, you are surrounded by a bunch of tall trees, but if you look at this giant tree out in the water, the purple flowers look oddly similar to a hidden Mickey the hidden symbols that were scattered across Kingdom Hearts 3. When inside the cave in Destiny Islands, you can see these drawings carved into the wall. If you look closer, these are more than just drawings. The drawings show events that happen later, like Sora swimming in water, and Sora fighting what appears to be a monster. Sora later swims in water in the Atlantica world, and he fights a monster that looks similar to the carving in Monstro. And also there's a carving with Donald in what appears to be a chocobo. In Traverse Town, if you go to the hotel and look at this painting at the end of the hallway, if you look close you can see that it resembles Fantasia's Bald Mountain, which appears at the end of the game where you fight Chernabog and gain the ability to superglide. Again in the hotel in Traverse Town, if you ring the bell at the counter, the curtain moves and someone says, no vacancy. But if you look at the two paintings at each end of the hallway, the person behind the curtain opens them again saying paintings are great. In the green room in the Traverse Town Hotel, you'll see a clock hanging above the door. If you hit the clock, you can make the hands on the clock move forward, therefore changing the time. After taking a brief tour of Traverse Town, you will leave the accessory shop and end up fighting Leon. Since you're underleveled, you can easily die in this fight, giving you this cutscene. Hey, you found it! Nice going, Leon! Still... It looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. But you can actually win this fight, and if you do, you'll get this cutscene instead. Oh, you're slipping, Leon. I went easy on him. Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. If you go into Huey, Dewey, and Louie's item shop and look on the wall, you can see this poster for Riverboat, a reference to Disney's Steamboat Mickey Mouse cartoon that made its debut in 1928. When you see Cloud in Olympus Coliseum, you will notice his clothes look different than how they are in Final Fantasy VII. This is because his design takes inspiration from both his soldier outfit from FF7 and Vincent Valentine 
the protagonist of Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII. He also has a dark wing on his left shoulder representing his darkness. When going through Halloween Town, there is only one save point in the entire world, and that is at the entrance to the town square. Another save point appears when you go to Oogie's Manor, but when the manor is destroyed, that save point disappears as well. When in Hollow Bastion, you use the floating bubbles to go to different areas. However, you can freeze these bubbles and when you do, they turn into platforms that you can use to jump to hide or reach places. When inside the Winnie the Pooh world, if you go to Rabbit's house, you'll see all the vegetables he has planted in his garden. If you walk up to the vegetables, you can actually pull these out the ground. And sometimes, when you'll pull one out, you'll receive a small reward. If you played this game, then you know that eventually Sora turns into a Heartless. But one subtle detail worth mentioning is that even as a Heartless, Sora has his own jumping animation compared to the normal Shadow Heartless you encounter. After unlocking the other side of Destiny Islands, you will see this rock blocking one of the mushrooms you need to collect. What's cool is that if you jump on top of the rock at this specific angle, Sora will float over top, and the rock will just completely shatter, with the rock having its own little animation as pieces of it fly in every direction. When at the end of the world stage, you will go through various rooms leading up to the final boss. If you look at the walls in these rooms, you will see thorns, branches, and damaged buildings. These are actually various sections from the fallen worlds from Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. In the final mix version of the game, one of the secret bosses you fight is this hooded figure, who is actually Xemnas. The cool thing about this fight is that canonically, it takes place right after Xemnas recruits Roxas, Sora's nobody. And that was 20 things you may have missed in Kingdom Hearts 1. Let me know of any cool details I didn't mention in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, drop a like or subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.